Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about tenetazole. What is this drug tenetazole? This is one of the broad spectrum antimicrobial agent. Here the suffix is nedazole and we have another drug with similar suffix metronidazole. So these two drugs metronidazole and tenetazole are having the suffix nedazole which gives some structural information. Here the term dazole is coming from the imidazole. So this is the imidazole containing drug and the two letters Ni indicates it is having the nitro group. So tenetazole is a nitro imidazole derivative. This tenetazole is having broad spectrum of activity. It can be used in the treatment of trichomoniasis, giardiasis, amoebiasis and bacterial vaginosis. In all these conditions tenetazole can be used. Trichomoniasis is caused by trichomonia vaginalis which produce some sexually transit disease resulting in vaginal discharge, pain, abdominal pain. Similarly, giardiasis is caused by giardia geodenalysis which again produce diarrhea, abdominal pain and amoebiasis is produced by antamoeba histolytica which again produce diarrhea in the patients. So in all these conditions, the tenetazole can be used, which is a fine nitroimidazole with long duration of action. Now let us the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of tenetazole. This is having the imidazole ring system. We can start the numbering here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So fifth position, it is having a nitro group. So we can write the suffix of the name as 5 nitro imidazole. To this 5 nitro imidazole, second position methyl group is present, so 2 methyl. And at the first position, whatever the side chain present is different in the metronidazole and the tenetazole. In the metronidazole, simply it is having the ethanol side chain, but here it is having an extended side chain. So let us give the numbering to the side chain. So this is 1 and this is 2. So simply an ethyl side chain is attached to the first position of imidazole. Now we can write this as 1 dash ethyl. But to this ethyl group at the second position sulfonyl group is present which is further attached with ethyl group. So we can write this as 2 dash ethyl sulfonyl. So that is the name of tenetazole. 1 dash 2 ethyl sulfonyl ethyl 2 methyl 5 nitro imidazole. Now let us see how this drug acts. This is the structure of tenetazole which is having a nitro group. This nitro group can be easily reduced, thereby it can produce few of the intermediates which acts as reactive oxygen species. So tenetazole can be reduced by supply of electrons such that this structure can be converted into a structure like this with one of the oxygen having a single electron. Then one of the oxygen can be removed such that it can be converted into a nitroso derivative. Now this can be reduced further by addition of hydrogens. To produce a product like this. Now simply it is having a hydroxyl amine group which can be cleaved to produce reactive oxygen species. Now this is the tenetazole. This tenetazole can enter into the cells where it is going to be reacting with ferridoxine. This ferridoxine is present in the reduced form which can interact with the tenetazole. Then this ferridoxine can be converted into oxidized form. Ferridoxine oxidized. At the same time, tenetazole can be reduced so that it is converted into a reduced form of tenetazole. Now the tenetazole in the reduced form cannot cross the membrane and it is going to be accumulated within the cytoplasm. In this way, all the tenetazole molecules can bind to this ferredoxin and they can be converted into reduced forms of the tenetazole. Now these reduced forms can be converted into reactive oxygen species, ROS. These reactive oxygen species can interact with important components of the cell. One of the important components is the DNA. They can interact with the DNA such that the genetic transcription can be inhibited. Similarly, they can interact with the proteins such that they can degrade the proteins. In this way, tenetazole can interact with DNA as well as proteins within the parasite, thereby to reduce the replication of the microorganisms 
and because of its broad selectivity, tinidazole can act on Trichomonas species, Giardia species, and Entamoeba species. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of tinidazole is that this drug can precipitate peripheral neuropathy. So within the patients, we can observe few of the symptoms such as paresthesia, loss of sensation, some numbness, decreased sensation. So any of these symptoms are observed with tinidazole. Care should be taken to avoid development of peripheral neuropathy. And if already patient is having any peripheral neuropathy, this drug may further increase the paresthesias. So care should be taken in the patients who are having either diabetic or other types of neuropathy. Similarly, this drug can also increase the convulsions. So it can precipitate the convulsive seizures. So in a patient with a history of convulsions, this drug should be carefully used. Similarly, tinidazole can increase the fungal infections, particularly at the vagina. It can produce a candida vaginitis, resulting in vaginal candidiasis. So this drug is useful in the bacterial vaginosis, but it can increase the fungal infections. Similarly, tinidazole can also increase the blood dyscrasias and it can also increase the risk of carcinogenesis in the patients. What are the drug interactions? Alcohol can be used in the beverages, which is nothing but ethanol. This ethanol can be oxidized by alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme to the estaldehyde. Now this estaldehyde is going to be converted into acetic acid by oxidation with aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme. Now tinidazole just like the metronidazole it can block the aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme activity. So when this estaldehyde is not converted into acetic acid, estaldehyde is going to be accumulated within the body resulting in few of the symptoms such as flushing, headache, hypotension and increased heart rate such as tachycardia. So care should be taken to avoid the alcohol with tinidazole and alcohol should be avoided even after three days of stopping of treatment with tinidazole. Because tinidazole is a long acting nitroimidazole, at least three days gap should be maintained after stopping of this drug and administration of the alcohol. Similarly, tinidazole can also increase the serum warfarin levels. So in the patients who are using the warfarin, the risk of hemorrhage can be increased along with tinidazole. What are the side effects? The important side effects of tinidazole are mainly related with gastrointestinal side effects. It can produce metallic bitter aftertaste just like the metronidazole, anorexia, loss of appetite, nausea, dyspepsia, constipation. It can also produce central side effects such as headache, dizziness, fatigue, some hypersensitive reactions like urticaria, pruritus, angioedema can be observed with this tinidazole. How it is given? This drug is available as tablets at 2 strengths 250 mg as well as 500 mg. The recommended dose for this tinidazole in the adults is 2 grams per day for 3 days but in case of liver abscesses it can be continued up to 5 days. So the total daily dose is 2 grams. But in the children, the dose is given based on the body weight. It is administered at 50 mg per kg per day. So that's about this tinidazole. Tinidazole is a long-acting 5-nitro imidazole. This drug, just like metronidazole, can be used in the various conditions like trichomoniasis, giardiasis, amoebiasis, and bacterial vaginosis. In all these conditions, Tinidazole can be used and this drug is having a 5 nitro imidazole ring system which can be reduced to produce reactive oxygen species. These reactive oxygen species can interact with cellular components such as DNA and few of the proteins by which it can inhibit the replication of parasite within the body. And this drug can increase the blood dyscrasias, precipitation of seizures, peripheral neuropathy. So when this drug is used for long term, care should be taken to monitor these symptoms. And this drug is given at a dose of 2 grams per day for 3 to 5 days based on the type of clinical indication. And metallic bitter aftertaste is one of the important side effects along with gastrointestinal side effects. Hypersensitivity can be observed in few of the patients. So that's about this tinidazole. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.